Ladies and gentlemen, it's the time again to talk about one more anime from the spring 2025. Two, not 2025. I don't know why I was thinking that. A season. This time around, we are talking about the greatest demon lord is reborn as a typical nobody. Indeedly do. This one just so happened to be one that I was quite, uh, like, into. I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a good one. We're going to have, you know, a, a great show here. And I was slightly disappointed, I will say. And, uh, yeah. Man. So anyway, if you recall, it takes uh, place around this guy <clears throat> named Demon Lord Varvetos, who uh, reincarnates himself into Ard Meteor because, like, he's tired of being the Demon Lord or something like that. Actually, for some reason, I remember it being that he, like, didn't have any friends <clears throat> because he was too strong, and so he wanted to re make himself reborn and be, like, weaker so that he could actually have friends, uh, something like that. Uh, I think that is the premise. But, uh, yeah, as time goes by and you learn things about Demon Lord Rebados, it doesn't make much sense. There's a lot of things in this story that just don't make a lot of sense. Right? Now, yeah. Anyway... If you look at it in terms of fantasy action with magic and stuff, it is decent. I do enjoy the fighting, and the magic is just beautifully done, very artistically done, all that good stuff, like the, the magic circles and how they cast spells, and the variety of spells are pretty cool, I will admit. Um, the girls that follow him are kind of annoying. Uh... All of them have their own, like, thing that annoys me. Uh, Guinea, the succubus gal, the uh, gal right here, she is, like, a little bit too clingy, I would say. Like, of all of them, she's probably, like, the best of the two girls here, the two girls here that he, like, is with. You know, uh, Irina here, though, she, like, it's just annoying. I gotta say, like, if Ginny is, like, too clingy and whatnot, Irina is just obnoxious and annoying and whatnot. But, but at least Ginny has the, like, latency to be like, let's start a harem for Ard. Meanwhile, Irina is like, no, that's stupid. I'm going to be the only one who likes Ard. And, and you know what? And gets to be with him and whatnot. So it's, it's annoying. But there's other characters as well. Like this one in the back here who comes in later, who's not a romantic interest uh, for the main character, which thank God it's not just like all the main character, all the female characters like swoon after the, uh, the main guy. But there's also, who's probably my favorite of the... Uh, like the female characters who are here is the uh there's an instructor named olivia she has like uh animal ears i don't know if it's like dog ears or cat well i don't think it's cat ears i think it's like some sort of dog ears or something but she's real cool and i like her also cool is uh back when varvados was a uh, demon lord he had like a follower named lydia and she's also really cool um those are the two probably best ones, right? And uh, he goes from having really cool, like, underlings and, like, friends and whatnot to having these two annoying friends in this world. And it's like, bruh. But anyway, regardless. So it basically centers around them having, like, a normal school life and Ard being, of course, overpowered uh, because he has magic. And for some reason, magic has gotten worse over time. So he's like really, really overpowered and strong. So he teaches his magic to these two girls who follow him. And uh, he like basically becomes 
popular and shit like that because people don't really care about his strength they're like oh my god you're strong that's so cool and no one's like afraid of him like apparently they were in his past life which you even see his past life at times and it wasn't like that at all yeah i don't know it's just i feel like the person who made this like had an idea but then they forgot about like the idea part way through, you know, and it just kind of devolved into something else entirely at that point. Now, I would watch a second season. I will say that uh, I just really like, you know, fantasy magic. It's real cool. Uh, yeah, will it get a second season? Who knows? It's probably not as good and popular for many of the reasons I mentioned here. Uh, there is one bad guy. I, I got to point this out because it's so annoying. There's one bad guy who's clearly someone else from the show. Like it's, it's so obvious based on the hairstyle, but it's never brought up. And the reason why he is a bad guy is never discussed. And so you just have no idea what the hell's going on and why that arc happened, which makes no sense. Right? Like, I don't know if maybe since the, the source material is a light novel and it was adapted into an anime, perhaps it was discussed in the light novel, but they just didn't have room or time to discuss it in the anime, which is possible. Or perhaps it comes later, but I don't see how it could come later because the character's gone. The character's just dead now. So there's like no real reason to bring back up like, okay, we'll do a flashback for this character and tell you why they decided to be bad. Um, it's just not going to happen. Uh, and then, yeah. Also at the end, there's like, uh, I'm going to have to just say they fucking go back in time. Okay. And stuff happens. And basically they change what would have been the past but the future stays the same when they return. So I don't know how that works. And also there's like a future person that also goes to the past with them when they're also in the past. And it's, it's just a mess. It's like the, the, the writer just did not understand how time works unless he's going with like, yeah, everything's parallel universes and stuff. So uh, don't worry about that uh, and anything like that. But the, the biggest takeaway from me in the last couple episodes is that Varvados did have friends. Like he had very good friends. However, for some reason he was like, I don't have any friends. I'm going to reincarnate so I can have friends and ended up with like shittier friends, you know? And I, I don't know. Maybe it's because he was the demon Lord. And because he was the demon Lord, he did not think that like, the people who were his friends were his friends because they were like subordinates. Maybe he couldn't think of them as friends or something. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a complete mess. Like I was, I was with it until like they went back to the past. And once they went back to the past, I kind of like lost interest in the show a little bit, which happened at the end, mind you. And this was also, it happens after that one guy who's clearly another character um, but for some reason it's a villain and it's not really discussed. I mean, I guess it's kind of implied in, in the later areas. Why? But not exactly. Like you just get a glimpse of what his personality is. And so you're like, oh, maybe he was just a dick all along, but it doesn't make sense why he would do this stuff when he did it. I, I, I just don't understand. Or like why he did specific things or how he knew to do certain things at certain times question mark like there's a lot of stuff in that like character that was like he totally should not have known and had plans for what would happen specifically when things happened um because of like how things happened it's very hard to explain like once you get to like episode seven ish 
you'll understand what I'm talking about when you when when you like see this guy, what he does, how he conducts his plan, and you'll be like, "What the hell?" Yeah, you, you'll understand. Trust me if you watch it. Um, all in all, it was kind of a mess. Like I feel like there was I'm trying to think here three or four arcs that were like smushed together because there's one arc that centers around the one character at the beginning and then once she's like wrapped up they go into that strange guy arc that introduces a new character and then after that's done they do the time travel bit so there's like three arcs that i feel like they needed to run longer to like fully explain what was going on. And I'm still not even 100% sure on like what exactly is going on. Because to me, I sort of got the implication that the uh, Irina girl is Lydia's like descendant. But it doesn't make sense if she is. But they have such a like striking resemblance that I just... I can't overlook it. Like they have the same hair color. They're elves. And they basically have the same eye color. It's just like a little bit of a different shade. Uh, so I just don't. Damn. They have to be related somehow. But they can't be. I don't know. Like I said, it's a mess. They're probably somehow related. Like they're going to sneak in like. Oh yeah, so this is when this character managed to have time to have kids, despite the fact that in this flashback we we showed that it was impossible because of various things. And it's like, what? What? Yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to end up just rambling about random stuff about the show. Um, I liked it, but man, there was a lot of problems with it. Like, mm. you know, if you look at all these reviews and you listen to them, You'll find that I'm a lot more forgiving to shows that are the genres that I really like, like isekai, fantasy, action things. But when it comes to like slice of life or like just generic school ones, like I'll be like, and there's a second season, I don't give a shit, you know? But with this one, it's like, I like uh, pretty colors in action. So, you know, what if you get another season, I'm in. Yeah. It's hilarious. Uh, but that's just my personal bias. Um, is this a good show? Uh, not particularly. Would I watch it again? Yes. <laughs> not again. I wouldn't watch it again. I'd watch another season. Let's put it out there. Like, this is not one that I would go back and watch. But if more came out, I would indeed watch it. Right? Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all for, uh, for me today, everyone. Uh, also today... The Rising of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero had its 12th episode, but it's a 13-episode season, so it's going to be uh, not talked about next week because I'm not going to do a discussion on a second season. I will uh, next time, if there is a video that comes out next week after S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero, uh, I will discuss at the end of that one what I think about S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero, but so far it's been okay. Just throwing it out there in case I don't get a chance to later. Uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero this season has been okay. It's been kind of weird at parts. I will say that much. The beginning was okay. Middle was a little bit eh. Ending has gotten better. Okay. Pretty cool. Uh, however, next time, I think tomorrow, well, not yeah, tomorrow, I guess, we'll be discussing the Skeleton Knight anime, which uh, I have been looking forward to. And then after that, the next one would probably be not this one. Trying to look here. That was a 24 episode anime. That was not going to happen for a while. Um, actually, are there any more? Is that the end? Oh my god, I think we're at the end of the season. Let me look at the pictures I got here. So we got that one. So there's the uh, uh what is it? Shikamori's not just cute. Spy family, summertime rendering, a couple of cuckoos, and uh, skeleton knight, right? I'm just trying to line this all up. A couple of cuckoos isn't going to happen for a while because it has 24 episodes and only episode nine. Summertime rendering. I don't even know when it comes out. 
everyone. And like, it feels like it's just like a random day they decide to like air the anime. I swear to God, it's come out on like Thursdays, but also on Tuesdays before. And I, I just have no idea. Um, Bayek's family, actually, isn't that one? Yeah, the last episode should be coming out here. Is it Saturday or Friday? I forget which day. <clears throat> the last one should be coming out for that one. And then the uh, Ikamori or whatever is not just cute, but also cool. Comes out on Saturdays as well. But they did this weird like a 6.5 episode where they just like recapped and the voice actors talked about their favorite scene and stuff. And uh, then that got delayed. So that's going to be a couple weeks, I think. And then that is everything. So yeah, I don't know when Summertime Rendering's coming out. Uh, or uh, Shikimori's not just cute or whatever. A couple of Cuckoos. Going to be next season when it comes out, when we discuss it. And then Spike's Family should be later this week. Uh, so I guess just at this point, look forward to... Y'all tonight, tomorrow. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, thank you all for listening to my rambling. I've been rambling the past, like, six minutes, I feel. So thanks for sticking with it. But I will see you all next time. Okay. Bye for now.